Well, making sawdust outside anyway. Just setting up outside and it's not too bad. It's cool. Light jacket day. So Oh, we're good at doing something. But uh yeah. I'm just having one of those days. My wife told me to have a better day, but I am kind of bummed today. I'm just... Oh well. Alright. I gotta remember, these are Rhodes lifters. When that idles down, it can have a little ticking. The louder ticking we hear is that old exhaust flapper there. It's in there, sitting there flopping around. But I finally got her filled up with antifreeze. And I don't know how well stress that gauge on the low side, but rule of thumb for every thousand RPM, you need 10 pounds of oil pressure. So a thousand, you need 10. So 2,000, you need 20. But uh, we're idling what 650, 700. But uh, got her full. She's running there. Got the fan on it too. But uh, I just had to play with it. I mean, she is so smooth. Watch the four barrel, it even wants to open. I mean, this carburetor is working like it's supposed to. Sounds like I got a couple of valves floating or I got them tight, adjusted too tight. But, right now, uh, all pan has no, nothing there, leaking there. So, After the day I've had, I got my project finished, and uh, yeah, got the oil burned off from trying to adjust the valves yesterday. See that stupid valve cover is still wet there, but yeah. Well, guys, the good news is I really don't have to answer to anybody right now. Uh, Got my last woodworking project that was ordered done. Got it done, and then no, oh, we won't be able to get there until 5:30. Which uh, I was able to sell a few things, and I had a guy come through, and he's like, "Don't be selling any more of your tools." And it was nice and just helped us out today because we had to pay our car insurance one way or another, and it wasn't going too good. So. Um, yeah, the guy had a nice talk with me and basically yelled at me and told me to quit selling my tools. Well, what else do you do? You got to do what you got to do when you got to. He's like, well, I've never had to live like that. And he just, he, he seems to understand. And so, and then he told me, he says, hey, if you need 10 for your roof over on your old building, he says, I got plenty of that around there too. So maybe I might go see if I can buy some of that. And then he was... He's like, hey, what are you going to do with those cross arms from those light poles you got? Nothing. And he says, well, don't throw them away. I said, you want them, you can have them. I mean, uh, but anyway, with that being said, and now that I got a little bit of money in my pocket, my parts should be here for the truck. So we're going to repair the truck again. New ignition switch. Once I got that working, then we're going to throw that tranny into that truck. 
it's going to go get cleaned. And then I guess we're going to break this down. Because I think I actually, because I can drain all the antifreeze out, I'm going to clean my pan extremely well for the amount of antifreeze I just put in this thing. Drain it all down, re-catch it in a nice clean pan, keep it clean. And uh, drain out the block, drain out the radiator. Then I'm going to put the motor back on the engine stand. Turn it upside down after I drain the oil. Turn it upside down. Redo the oil pan gasket. Just because I can. I could do it in this. But I'd rather be able to see it. And be able to lay stuff in place and do like I usually do. And we're going to fix the oil pan gasket. And then we're going to hook that to the transmission. And it's going in the car. I am down to where I can just... I got to make some money yet. I got that the other guy. I can go do some more motor work for him. I'm going to probably do that and start bolting stuff together and getting ready to slam it into the Camaro. Um, I've been running this off and on. I bet you I've got an hour, hour and a half running on this. And I've changed the throttle up and down so it ain't run at the same. And I did the cam break in. Uh, so when I change the oil pan gasket, it's going to get new oil and filter and everything. And uh, we're going to start putting that car together. I'm ready to go rip up some gravel roads. I'm tired of dealing with people and... So, we're going to do some fun for ourselves. Get these cars going and maybe get some motor work drummed up. I just tell you, I've been... Today I've been feeling good and I think what the problem was this week, I wasn't eating like I should is what it's coming down to. Well, you got bills to pay and you're, you're out of money and it's just, and like I said, you got people that think you're sitting down all the time, but little do they know what you all did before you sat down. So, um, yeah, I wanted to, is the oil leak up front? Actually, I don't know. I ain't going to trust it. I'm going to put a new gasket in because by the time I do, I do trust it, it's going to go And there's nothing I hate worse than an oily bottom side of a car. So, and then like I said, it sounds like I got to reset the valves and because there that was a top end miss. And that ain't that big a cam, so it shouldn't be floating the valves. I think I just got a couple of them adjusted too tight, so... And that's hard to adjust them when it's hot. My fingers... Years ago I could do a hot, cold, whatever. Boy, when I was messing with this yesterday and made a big oil mess... Woo, my fingers did not like that hot oil. So... But anyway, well, we've warmed her up, cycled her through a few times, and... I wish I had one of those cameras where I could stick it in the spark plug. We'd pull the spark plugs out and see what the cylinders look like. But uh, she's running and running sweet. So I thought with my crappy day we'd make some noise. <laughs> I know, guys, I know. And You know, when I got up this morning, I had no idea how we were going to pay our car insurance. I had none. I did not know what was going to happen. I... In here, late this afternoon, it works out. So, so I guess. But, all right. 